Fertility preservation is a relatively new area of reproductive medicine that is meant to preserve the fertility of men, women, and children who might be undergoing treatments that might render them sterile, such as chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Per fertility preservation is not only important as a reproductive health issue, but also as a quality of life issue. The ideal candidate who can benefit from fertility preservation is someone who's been diagnosed with cancer and who's going to need treatments that may render them sterile, such as surgical treatments or even chemotherapy or radiation therapy. Other candidates who could be offered fertility preservation include women who've been diagnosed with non-cancerous conditions such as ovarian cysts or who have a family history of premature ovarian failure or who simply are desiring to delay their childbearing years. Other candidates who might want to consider fertility preservation are people who live in communities that might be exposed to higher levels of pesticides or heavy metals, or even maybe military personnel who may be exposed to uh, chemical warfare, biological warfare while they're on the battlefield. The options for fertility preservation are limited currently. For men, they have three options. They can freeze sperm, they can freeze the whole testes, or they can undergo hormonal suppression. For women, they too have three options. Number one, freezing eggs. Number two, freezing embryos. Or number three, freezing the whole ovary. Currently, freezing embryos and freezing sperm are used daily and are considered mainstream. However, freezing eggs, freezing whole tissue such as the entire ovary or the entire testes is still considered experimental. However, there has been a lot of success with freezing eggs, and there have been a lot of centers that freeze eggs using a new technology called vitrification, which is flash freezing the eggs. And with this new technology, we have found that subsequent pregnancy rates are almost as good or just as good as freezing embryos or fresh embryos. Currently, there is a whole host of research being performed exploring all sorts of treatment options. I'm really hopeful with some really smart researchers out there that a lot more options will be available in the near future. And this is really important because it'll make it so much easier for men and women who've been unfortunately diagnosed with tough diagnoses such as cancer to help them fulfill the dream of having a family.